my aunt even told my mom about boyfriend A. That I cannot explain. You were something different. But I don't want to change. Slowly but surely. You began to fade. Things are finally changing. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my family. If you are a returning subscriber, please, please, thank you. Thank you for your support. I appreciate you. I love you. <laughs> I love you so much. So I was just doing my dishes and I remembered I promised you guys stories like stories, real life stories my real life stories and please please don't mind me because i'm not a good storyteller and um, i'm trying to improve on that but bear with me for the time being but when you we go we roll with what we get right i might be all over but you know let's do this and metrono one is at the door. So guys, I promised you I will be telling you about my first flings, I'm a first boyfriends, I'm a first relationships. And uh, so Tunanza to see no we just start, right? <laughs> I don't know if I were to start, but to Nasonga. So there's this guy. Okay, let's start with high school. What was that? Like, what was that? Because in high school, I didn't really get the meaning of boyfriends. Like, did guys really have meaningful, meaningful relationships? Because as for me, I had a boyfriend because peer pressure. Me, I don't think even that guy cut yard me. I was in form four, so how did I even? Ah, I remember. So, um, if I mention the school, people will know who I'm talking about. So, um, they did, they, this time we went for drama festivals at a certain school, boys' school, and I saw this guy. I knew the guy because uh, the sister was in our school. I know you guys, some guys know what ooh, I'm talking about. So. so I kept staring at the guy so he could come to me. Like, that was dumb. That was dumb. <laughs> anyway, so Akakuja, he came, he said hi, and that's how we became boyfriend and girlfriend. Like, how did that, what the hell? <laughs> But you know, when we went back to school, our school used to have like secret mobile phones. It was not that a secret, but people used to have phones and they, some of the teachers knew. Like it was not that strict because our school was somehow interior. So no one, no one like cared if we had phones or not. And we were well behaved, you know. Our school was well behaved and we used to perform then right now i don't know what went wrong so yeah he kept calling and uh, yeah so by i think in form three i had a phone but my phone was being used by others than me but when i was in form four that's when i think my phone was active with me someone calling me and i got a few other boyfriends from other schools like who used to call me so after after uh, fast forward after after high school i continued talking to the guy but now <laughs> guys you know people how people used to use my phone to call their boyfriends and all so i had their contacts and the boyfriends continued calling me and we continued chatting <laughs> but yeah we continued talking to i continued talking to other guys boyfriends i was dumb too <laughs> so 
know. Um, I continued talking. Even my mom knew I was talking to someone up to, you know, the time uh, Airtel used to give uh, free calls, like from 12, I mean, like, we're 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. free calls. I used to talk to that guy. And I, we have never met. Like we used to talk all night. What did he, what the hell? What did we even talk about? Because I am sure it was nothing but nonsense. <laughs> but we used to talk like till dawn and my mom was like, Nani longele shango siku yivos dri what? I was like, mom, I talked for 10 minutes and she was like, brush it off. And yeah, fast forward to campus, but I was still talking to my real, real like boyfriend, like boyfriend. So fast forward, we went to the same campus. I didn't know, oh, there's a time we like, I think we broke up. I think we stopped talking. Imagine we're from the same hometown, but we never met. Oh, my eyes. Let me remove that cutting. Uh, yeah, I think there's a, there's a period where we stopped talking with that uh, boyfriend till we went to campus. And now we met in campus. We did the same course, actually. <laughs> God. But then I had gotten another like where did those boyfriends go like who are just waiting there like one after the other one after the <laughs> I was doing wait a boyfriends because anyway there was no meaningful connection or anything but um before I went to campus I think that's when I was in a real kind of real relationship uh that was my first first ever crush oh she crush ya mtu ukimwona una melt <laughs> that guy eh? hmm? hi hi he's a family friend uh he still is a family friend or do i say family <laughs> If you're watching this, Paul, Lakini, I had crushed for him. So, what I did is, <clears throat> we, okay, do I, do I say this? We are kind of in the same family group circle. So, when we have, like, family gatherings, we used to meet, like, we used to meet and I think he knew I had a crush on him because I used to stare at him. Me and Nikki could like I stare. Oh, mom, I keep like, I look at you, then look away, look at you, then look away. And make sure you notice I am looking at you. <laughs> Cute, right? So, so um, I know I am all over, but I hope you get the story. Uh, so, Sinenja Campus, and I have this crush who we kind of are dating and serious, and uh, my parents kind of know because, uh, so since it's family and people in the village can see us together walking, Moshane had started like going around the village saying like me and that guy are dating. So my mom kind of knew, but she asked me one day, but Nikamambia, we are friends. Like how, like we're friends, mom. So I do a ni marafiki, ni familia. So wachana na wanakiji. Wanakijiji. So we, we kept seeing each other. Sasa ikafika place. Sasa sinengia campus. And the guy I was seeing, not the high school one, the high school one, remember we are on a break, I'm a break we broke up or something. So, Sinikona Huyung Pia, let me call him uh, X. So, <laughs> yeah, X. So, boyfriend X was already in campus. Like, 
way ahead like i was feeling na date mse yule mtu mkubwa mtu anajua what they <laughs> So we See, we got to know we in the same class, nini nini, and then he came after me and he was like, now we're grown ups, we in campus, now we should get back together, nini nini, oh my god. I was like, I was like, I was like, now I moved on. I have a boyfriend. Oh my god. And actually I brushed it on his face like I was like I have a boyfriend. He's in this school. He's ha ha ha. And I think even I called him. Oh, that was childish. So when he come gear and that's how he didn't come after me again so I continued dating these uh, boyfriend ex so in uh, I think I dated him for almost a year but we broke up because he cheated on me my instincts are so right when it comes to guys sometimes but sometimes my foolishness also takes over so uh, yeah, we did it for almost a year. And almost everyone at home knew. Like my aunts. You and Nani on duty. Like my aunts. Like my aunts. So I think they thought to Tawana, Maninini, and my uncle. I think they thought to Tawana, Maninini, and my uncle. But anyway, he was such a great guy, but he cheated on me. <laughs> Oh my god, we're still friends because we're family, <laughs> kind of family. <clears throat> no hard feelings, he's married now with a kid. Happy, happy, happy. That could be me. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> so, I, think I hate scrubbing superiors, you guys. So, uh, after, okay, before we broke up with the uh, boyfriend ex boyfriend ex there was this other guy now i'm going to call this one boyfriend a because <laughs> this one mm, where how we met so on a, <laughs> i swear there's always that guy who is waiting on the list like you know <laughs> But that was then. Right now, others do your work well enough. Where did they go? Because uh, once you're single, you're so single. Once you get someone, that's when people start coming after you. Like, I think it's because you're happy and glowing. Um, <laughs> but when you're single, no one comes after you. <laughs> Where did those people go? So then, uh, when I was getting in campus, uh, my aunt took me to campus like to register to to register to do some you know look for the house because i never used to live in the hostels uh we, we even lived with my auntie for like a week a month a week a month oh thank you auntie <laughs> you're the best so <clears throat> um, the day we went to my school, I was in KU. So, KU ni kubwa, like, main campus, it's so big, you could get lost if you don't know the room. So, we, we went to school uh, a bit late because by later came in. Late, like late, much later, but we were shown So, I there was no that registration like straightforward. This is the regist registration uh, poll. Is it called poll? Like this is the registration station and all that. When people come in in campus, like the first week, nakwangana, where. Uh, the place where it's allocated for registration, but Mimi, I went when 
people had already registered so i had to look for offices like departments like everything so my aunt so this guy cute guy <laughs> we were from the administration poli <laughs> administration police administration board <laughs> We were from the administration block, so my aunt saw this guy. Who's he? She was like, "Um, hi, can you show us where this uh, department is?" He's like, "Oh, I'm headed there. Uh, I can show you guys." Are you guys new? He was in like Tadia. Uh, boyfriend A was in Tadia. <laughs> so I was like, "Auntie, you're embarrassing me," but I was like, ah, "Let's go." I'm, I am already tired. This KU is big. <laughs> and you know what I was wearing? Headers. Uh -uh. I, I was in sandals. So he was like, ah, you girl, you knew. You knew when you came to KU. KU, you cannot wear high heels because this place is so huge. I was like, I don't do high heels. Like, I am tall enough, so there's no way I can do high heels. So we went. He showed us everything. Actually, he left us. I don't think he had anything else to do in school that day. Like, he did not do anything else. Like, he took us to every department. He made sure we were registered. And he showed me... Uh, the classes and then he was like can i have your number so when you're lost <laughs> i can show you around and i am still in the same course that you are that was such a coincidence by the way he was doing the same course i was doing and the only problem was that he was way ahead so my aunt was like yeah but your number so, <laughs> My aunt, oh my aunt is so adorable, like she, they tapered stories she, the whole day and then we gave him, I think it was 500 financially <laughs> at the end of the day, I think he was so happy, no students, <laughs> he was so happy, I would have been happy if it was me, like any me miss Yezi Pele come to Shule, Raundi, especially KU the whole day, but I think he saw me <laughs> so that is how we met with my boyfriend a so when we broke up with uh, boyfriend uh, X I was like this guy has been like chasing me around asking me to be his girlfriend and at this point uh, boyfriend X was still like apologizing but i was not ready to go back i was like ah i'm still young you cannot cheat on me and come back begging me nini those stuff so i was like yeah why not so i gave him a chance and that's how boyfriend a came into the picture if you want to know about boyfriend a tell me down in the comments <laughs> because boyfriend a um, he was my auntie's favorite like uh, my aunt was like how is your boyfriend the one i hooked you up with i was like auntie Shush. my aunt even told my mom about boyfriend a <laughs> my mom knew about him and i was like mom i'm in the first year you know <sighs> but anyway another story story for another day so if you want to hear about boyfriend a <clears throat> comment down in the comments and tell me your experiences tell me who how your first relationship was, how your first fling was. <laughs> because maybe, hi, please, I am sorry if I ever chatted with your high school boyfriend because they used to call me in the middle of the night, but I was bored and I took the call and we chat. But we never met with any of them, okay? okay. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for listening to my 
<sighs> to my what? To my story. And if you wanna hear more about it, subscribe, like, share, comment. And yeah, that's it, guys. I'll see you when you see me. And uh, thank you so much for supporting me. I just wanna rinse them and I'll be off. Bye bye. Just wanna rinse them and I'll be off to edit some vlogs I'm editing before this one. The one you have watched before this one. So I will see you when you see me, guys. I love you so much. Bye.